Will we ever get through this day? This day will be magnificent. Soon, Lori and Amy will be in wedding bliss. Meg! Oh, Meg, look at me! I can't get married looking like this! The dress is not Trebo. The dress is very Trebo. Oh, and why did I choose white for the flowers? Amy, come let me finish your hair. I made all the wrong decisions for the wedding, Marmy. This dress, all the flowers... It was all Laurie's idea to have the wedding at our petite maison. And I can deny Mon Amour nothing! Why is she speaking French? Was I that silly at our wedding? <laughs> Worse. John. You... You were inspiring. I almost forgot. Father's telegram said his train would be arriving at noon. You must go meet him at the station. Uh, where's Amy? <laughs> you are not to see her before the wedding. I know. Oh, let me take these. I'm off to the train station. Oh, come, Lloyd. Let's have a cigar together before the ceremony begins. So, are you ready to be a bridegroom? I guess it's now or never. <laughs> hey, the weather's cleared up. Where is Josephine? I'll go find her. Oh, and tell Amy I want to talk to her about receiving line etiquette. We have the cream of Concord society arriving any moment. I understand you wanted to talk to me. I suppose you realize that this could have been your day. You think I've made a ghastly mistake? I do not. Amy and Lori are ideally suited for each other. Now, I've gone over my will. Aunt March, I don't Meg will inherit most of my money. Amy is making her way into society and won't need any of it. And as for you, but I, I don't plan... want anything, Aunt Oh, Marge. I know. I... You don't want anything. And yet, you want everything. Josephine, every girl... Every woman needs something to fall back on when times are bleak. I'm leaving you my house. Your house? Do something worthwhile with it. Make it into a school or a library or something. Thank you, Aunt March. That's very generous of you. And I don't like that dress. It was one of your old ones. Well... It looked better on me. <laughs> Professor Bayer? Hello. Hello. This is a surprise? I know, you wrote, if I should ever come north, I should come visit. Yes, but I didn't think that you... But you never thought I would do it. Well, I, I did it, I'm here. Should I go? No, no. I'm not intruding. No, um, would you like to come in and meet everyone? No. Can we talk? So, um, how is Mrs. Kirk? As impossible as ever. And the borders? As strange as ever. And you? Me. The same. Well, you look very... Old? I know nearly 50. <laughs> no, that's, that's not what I meant. You're 34. 35. You had a birthday? They had a party for me, but I do not like parties. I brought back your manuscript. It was so good of you to send me a book, a, a novel. Well, there's no one whose opinion I respect more than yours. Forgive me for presuming that you... No. Touch me deeply, Miss March. I heard your voice. I saw your words on every page. It was magnificent. Joel, Amy is driving me insane. Now she's talking about changing her veil. I... Excuse me. Um, Professor Bayer, this is my sister Meg. Yes, I recognize you from your sister's book. So you're the one she's let read it. I'll be right there. <laughs> I have come at the bad time. No. 
I often think about you, Professor. I wondered how you were doing. I bought a kite. <laughs> you bought a kite? I bought a kite. And I took it to the park. I never had a kite. You were right. You were right to think I was old. I didn't mean no, it in that. I was, but since we meet, everything is different. Everybody noticed my students even. They say, Professor Bayer, you are smiling today. Miss March. Joe. Joe. We are not at all alike. We have our differences. May I be blunt? Be blunt, by all means. I think perhaps it looks like rain. The sky gets bluer by the hour. The water falls in little drops. That's why it's called a sun shower. And now it stops. You were about to be blunt. If I say rain, then you say sun. If I say yes, then you say no. It seems before we start, we're done. We even argue at hello. If I say share with me the small umbrella. I say who cares if I get wet. We are as different as the morning and the night. No, we're as different as the winter and the spring. We always seem to fight. We disagree on You make me smile, you make me laugh, you make me care How can I explain inside my heart I feel the pain when you're not there Though we are not at all alike You make me feel alive If we had that in common that one small thing in common Love could be like a small umbrella in the rain Josephine! Christopher Columbus! The guests will be arriving soon! I want the family gathered in the parlor! And just who are you? Um, this is Professor Bayer. This is my Aunt March. Call me Fritz. Fritz? Is that your name, Fritz? Did I not tell you? No. <laughs> well, bring Fritz in. You were saying, Fritz? <laughs> when people discover passion, they've come upon something rare. This fervor they have in common will shelter them anywhere. Such passion to share. I think they have more than enough. Enough to make a marriage. If we dare. You are proposing? No. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I do not mean today, or tomorrow, a month, a year, two even. I am a patient man. I won't be sweet, won't be demure. This, I prefer this, I adore. I'll speak my mind, you can be sure. I'd be enchanted to the core. If I say, let me share your small umbrella. I'd say, who cares if we get wet? We'll be as different as a husband and a wife. No, we'll be as different as a woman and a man. We'll fight our way through life. We'll disagree the best we can. And yet, you'll make me smile, you'll make me laugh, you'll make me care. How can I explain inside my heart I feel a pain when you're not there?
but one small thing in common. Our love is like a small umbrella. I have news. What is it? I showed your novel to Henry Dashwood. You did what? I, I know it was wrong, but I could not resist the horrid man, Dashwood. Uh, well, what did he say? He said it was a bit long, and he missed the blood and gut stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he liked the four sisters, particularly the outspoken one. He wants to publish it. He said that? If it's all right with you. <laughs> Joe, we need you inside. Oh, Marmy, this is... Professor Fritz Bayer. He's a good friend of mine. He's going to be staying with us for a while. And we're thinking of starting a school together. A school? Not today or next week, but someday. Well, it's nice to have you, Professor. Come, let me introduce you to the rest of our family. We are all waiting for you. <laughs> Astonishing. 